friend who often says, I'm giving myself grace. And typically it's when she finds herself in circumstances that provide what she thinks is a good reason, it's actually an excuse to not take action. And each time she lets herself off the hook by giving herself grace, she gives her power to her circumstances and stays stuck. And then she doesn't get the, the results that she really wants because you know how could she? She's allowing herself to wait until she feels differently to do something to change her circumstances. So how could she get different results while waiting for her circumstances to change before she takes action to create what she desires? She allows herself to be a victim of her external and internal circumstances. She allows herself to be a victim of her external and internal circumstances. And only when those circumstances change is she gonna take action. But what if they don't change? <laughs> I'm sure you realize what type of results she'll get. None. So sure, <clears throat> give yourself a little grace to gather your wits about you before you take action. Allow yourself time to feel better, to grieve, to feel stronger, to figure out your next steps. But don't give yourself too much grace or make it a habit to let yourself off the hook for long. If you do, you'll never move towards your goals or achieve your dreams. You'll be too busy coddling yourself and waiting for something to change. Now, I realize that I may sound unfeeling or like I lack compassion. I, I, I'm, I'm not either of those things. I'm not unfeeling and I, and I don't lack compassion. I just want you and other people like you to move towards your goals and find ways to change your circumstances and do your best to realize your potential. I want you to stand in your power and be someone who can take action to create what matters to you. And none of that is going to happen if you continue giving yourself grace every time the shit, excuse my language, hits the fan and you find yourself faced with difficult circumstances. So remember that a little grace goes a long way. So if you don't understand the phrase giving yourself grace, let me explain. Hmm. According to most definitions, grace means a disposition to or an act or instance of kindness or courtesy. So giving yourself grace is being kind to yourself and courteous of your feelings and your needs. That's wonderful. But grace is also equated to clemency. And clemency is an act of leniency or disposition to be merciful. So giving yourself grace means being forgiving and sympathetic and indulgent with yourself. It also is a reprieve. So giving yourself grace means you decide to cancel or postpone something like taking new action, making a decision or changing a habit. So to me, giving yourself grace is a little bit like offering yourself some wiggle room. It's you finding a reason, an excuse, <laughs> to, not to take action under the guise of being good to or caring for yourself. <clears throat> but here's the truth. When you give yourself grace, you have interpreted your circumstances as hard or uncomfortable. And as a result, you decide you should get or you need a break to recoup your strength, courage, positivity, motivation, whatever. Maybe you believe you need self-care, time, or healing before you can feel strong enough to face whatever lies before you. So giving your self grace is all about finding a reason, an excuse, not to take action. The reason is an excuse. And too often, giving yourself grace is procrastination or resistance, plain and simple. Now, <clears throat> there are times when you do need to give yourself a little reprieve. Take a little time to recover from whatever you experience. But granting yourself a reprieve or clemency can become habitual and stop your forward movement. So continually giving yourself a reprieve or clemency keeps you stuck, keeps you in the same place. Nothing changes because you have to take action to change. You have to take action to deal or cope with your circumstances. Otherwise, things are going to remain the same. You're going to stay the same. 
And sometimes small steps are enough. Other times a significant jump forward is what you need. But nothing changes unless something changes. You've heard that before. And something is only going to change if you take action. Giving yourself grace allows you to remain in your current circumstances, even though you don't like them. In fact, it lets you wallow in your current circumstances and prolong that experience for one simple reason. You aren't doing something to change the circumstances. So just as a, a bit of grace goes a long way, as I said, the same is true of tough love. After a brief period of grace, push yourself to get moving and make changes. Give yourself some tough love. Maybe you want to create a challenge for yourself. You know, for example, you could challenge yourself to drop four pounds in four weeks. Commit to taking that challenge and stick with your meal and your exercise plan and don't allow yourself to deviate no matter what. Or pursue a goal despite whatever's going on in your life. I know, life lifes. You know, we say life gets in the way, but life is always going to be there. If you want to be, for instance, an author, write for five minutes a day in the mornings. Even when you feel depressed or sick or discouraged, no leniency. Take a baby step that moves you in the direction of a new circumstance or leap in the direction of your desires. <clears throat> Decide to be someone different. Change your identity. Talk about it all the time. If you take that one decisive action, your habits and mindsets will align with who you are being. And as you change on the inside, your outer world will change too. And don't let yourself off the hook. That's the tough love part. Be self-integral. Keep your promises to yourself, no matter what. No reason not to act. No excuses for taking a day off. No giving yourself grace. Now, to stop giving yourself grace, you have to decide to be someone who takes action no matter what life throws their way. You have to be someone who's firm with yourself. You have to be someone self-integral. You have to be someone who puts boundaries around your grace periods. You to be someone who stops making excuses. And you have to be someone who, who stops finding reasons why you need to give yourself grace. <clears throat> so more often than not, grace is just an excuse not to do the hard or scary stuff. You want the reprieve. You desire clemency. <laughs> and that response to challenging circumstances originates in your brain. The reptilian part of your brain is tasked with keeping you safe. It doesn't want you to do anything or find yourself in situations that might endanger you. However, it sees anything new, hard, uncomfortable, or scary as dangerous. And as a result, that part of your brain encourages you to give yourself grace. After all, you won't do anything that makes the reptilian brain feel the need to protect you if you let yourself off the hook. When you realize that the brain is working on overdrive, you can tell it to settle down and allow you to take action that leads to desired results. Or you can dismiss your thoughts about taking time off. <laughs> you can confidently assure yourself that you don't need grace. Instead, affirm that picking yourself up and moving forward in a new and different way is going to get you the results you want. Now, grace also has a spiritual nature. It's often de defined as unmerited divine assistance given to humans for their regeneration or sanctification. It's a virtue coming from God or creator or source. It's a state of sanctification enjoyed through divine assistance. Now, you might have heard the teachings of Hermes Trismegistus. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Hermes Trismegistus. He taught as above, so below. And as below, so above. If you take action to help, to help yourself get desired results, the universe conspires to help you. For that to happen, though, you have to stop giving yourself grace and allow a higher power to do that for you. Norman Vincent Peale wrote in Positive Thinking for a Time Like This, so basically, you let God or source or creator provide you with grace. Now, grace is also ease and suppleness of movement or bearing. So rather than giving yourself a reprieve or being lenient with yourself, 
Push yourself to move forward easily and gracefully. Allow yourself to flow towards the results that you want. So I'm curious, do you give yourself grace too often? I'd love for you to tell me about your experiences with grace by leaving a comment down below. I probably don't give myself grace often enough, and that could be an issue for you too. I tend to push forward. But anyway, let me know about your experience with grace. Leave me a comment down below. And if this is the first time you've ever shown up on my YouTube station, I am Nina Amir. I'm known as the Inspiration to Creation Coach. I am a certified high performance coach and an intuitive transformational coach. And I am um, an author and the founder of the Inspired Creator Community. And what I enjoy doing, really, what really floats my boat, is, is looking at how we get from where we are to where we want to go. Who do we need to become to do the things that allow us to create what we desire? And I really love thinking about the fact that we're spiritual beings having a human experience and how do we, how do we realize our human potential while still tapping in or while also tapping into our spiritual potential. So I believe that the only way for us to really step into being the type of person who can take the actions that allow us to create what we want, and I believe we're creators, powerful creators, but the way we, we allow ourselves to do that or make it possible to do that is by working on our personal and spiritual growth because we are spiritual beings having a physical human experience. So we have to work on both aspects of who we are. And that's what I do in the Inspired Creator community and with my transformational coaching and my certified high performance coaching. But if you're interested in any of these options, click on the link above. It shows you all three options for working with me. And um, you can either get on the email, the um, waiting list for the Inspired Creator community if it's not open when you watch this video, or you can uh, work with me in some other way. And if the Inspired Creator community is open, you can, of course, join. And yeah, so click on that link, see how to work with me. And if in the meantime, you're interested in chatting about how we might work together or whether I am the right coach for you um, or teacher, then click on the second link above to schedule a free 15 minute soul alignment session with me. So let's have a chat, okay? So click on the button above that says, let's have a chat and or let's chat and we'll go from there. So that's it for today. Until I talk to you next time, go out there and achieve more inspired results. Mm -hmm.